Hi YouTube, it's me, Mason Sushi here again. Um, I'm just doing a quick little video outside, something a little different. Hopefully, um, you won't hear dogs bark or neighbors or whatever. So you'll have to excuse it if they do. Um, decided to not do my second part of my Atari video. I actually recorded about three minutes each of gameplay. Didn't really like how it turned out. I'm not editing it per se, but I, I just didn't get a good feel for it. And plus, I wanted to add a little something at the beginning. Uh, anyway, so I'll actually put up a couple videos and then put do part two. So I hope you don't mind. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is is more of a question to you guys. Do you guys help other collectors? Do you find that you you get a sense of satisfaction over helping someone else achieve their goals? Um, I do. I get a big sense of pride when I know that I help someone get a step closer to theirs because it's been real hard for me um, from where I'm at. There's not any collectors I'm aware of that are serious in game collecting and trying to find someone to share that with, you know, the excitement of the hunt and to be able to call someone and say, hey, look, I found something totally cool. You guys need to check it out. You know, it's not really available in my area so you know through the uh, website of Nintendo Age I've gotten some friends that I've been able to share things over a camera and um, you know just been able to express myself as a collector to other people so in doing that you know I felt the need to not only share experiences but share things you know uh, I collect loose games you know for Nintendo Super Nintendo and N64 so when I come across you know boxed items or things like that, I tend to just trade them off to them. I don't, you know, see the need to hoard them up in my collection. I don't care about them. And I know some of them, you know, actually have some value to some people. I mean, it's not like I have tons of them, but, you know, I have a few, and I, you know, share when I can. Um, but the question is, again, do you guys share? Do you guys, you know, if you find, you know, an awesome game that you already have one of, do you buy it up in hopes of, you know, passing it on to someone at cost, or are you one that only sells... You know, you know, only sells for a profit. You know, what what do you do? Uh, you know, I, I find I just find it hard not to get excited when I, you know, you can give someone something for super cheap and just you know hear it in their voice. You know, if it's a over the you know over the phone or you know in the email that you receive. Um, I don't know. There's just there's been a lot of things that have been affecting me as a collector recently. You know, the um, that's one of the big things. Just trying to help people. And something else I've been thinking about, you know, is where do I want to go with my collection? You know, earlier in the year I put up a video saying that I wanted to, you know, collect the N64 and the Master System. And, you know, I have a couple deals in the works for, you know, some N64. Finding Master System stuff is brutally hard. Um, very, very difficult. I was able to pick up six games. And, I, I, you know, I should do one of those pickup videos. But my problem is I get them and I throw them right on the shelf. So... By the time, you know, I say, oh, I need to do a pickups video or something, I've already put it on the shelf and I can't remember what I've picked up. I mean, if I was to do a pickup video just of this year, I'd, I need a few parts to do it. You know, I just pick up things, you know, six games here, ten games here, two games here. You know, I recently just got into where I was um, going to, uh, there was a period of like two weeks, I just got this weird bug to go to the uh, GameStops around and just see what kind of crap I could buy for less than like four bucks because you know they're clearancing out the PS2 games uh, they have to be CIB but you know I, I'm going in there and I'm like what is this you know and I pick it up and I put it in my PlayStation for like a couple minutes I'm like this is total garbage this thing sucks ass and I see why it's like a dollar ninety nine but you know I don't do it to like fluff up my collection per se I just do it to Something different, something different than other, you know, trying to get the same stuff. My P PlayStation 2 collection's really not all that big. I don't remember exactly how many titles I have, but um, for the long time, I was very strict on what I put in it, you know, as far as um, putting things that were like, you know, RPGs. I have, you know, a few or sealed RPGs, you know, complete. You know, I you know, have two copies of Final Fantasy 9. No, yeah, Final Fantasy 12, I think. And then. You know, I have all the uh, Shin Megami Tensies, however you say that. Um, I have most of those sealed. Um, you know, just different ones that I find. You know, I have all the Sukadens, well, on the PS2. And I have one for the PS1. I'm missing number two for the PS1. But, you know, I try to get them on. Then I just got to the point where I was like, you know, I'm just trying to get all these hits or, you know, the popular titles. And then, what about the crap? You know, it's just for fun. So that's what I did for a couple weeks. And that got kind of old. And I had already picked up all the ones, you know that were in CIB condition out of like three GameStops and so 
I really should go either go to more game stops or just stop and I kind of just did stop so I don't know just different different kind of things going on with me as a collector I just kind of feel I didn't have any plans in here putting the camera in front of me figured I'd just ramble for a few minutes but you know what about you guys what do you guys like you know, I, I find that I, I literally, when I make my videos, I decide, you know what, I think I'm just going to talk about this. Or I go into my game room and say, you know, I need to make a video. What should I talk about? And I'll just put it down. And I've had, you know, in the past couple of days, I've had some really nice um, messages, you know, on the posts. And I've had a couple PMs that were really nice that people said uh, through YouTube and a couple through the NA forums about my YouTube channel. Um, I don't have very many subscribers, which that's fine, you know, you know, you kind of want a few, so at least you know you're, you know, a couple people are watching what you're doing, but, uh, it, you know, it's fun, it really is fun, it's kind of hard sometimes to squeeze it in with the baby, my wife's out of town today, so put her down for a nap, come do a quick video, but, I don't know, I, I just enjoy collecting games, and, you know, I just ramble about anything, but I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for, you know, all 89 of you as of this video that, um, uh, watch me and support me, and, you know, say nice things about me. I really have only had a handful, one or two comments that were kind of negative, which I, you know, I do appreciate. You know, I know I don't, you know, people make comments saying, why don't you have a better camera? Why don't you do direct feed? I've had some of those things. I'm like, well, I'm not investing buku money into it, you know, unless I have a buku amount of people watching me. I'm sorry, I'd rather invest that money into my game collection because you never know with the YouTube channel, it might, you know, trail off and I don't do it anymore or whatever and I don't want to have purchased a ridiculously expensive camera for a handful of people so they get a better satisfaction of watching me clear for some reason. Uh, I would like to pick up something in the future that allowed for macro vision so I can get closer. This is a little flip HD and it doesn't seem to do real well right up close, at least in my game room. Um, my game room doesn't have a window anymore. Well, it has a window but I blacked it out and put a bookshelf in front of it. So I really have a fan with four little independent lights that, you know, rotate around. And then I have a little floodlight thing I kind of tack onto my bookshelf and point it at me when I record. But other than that, it's a very dark room. Sunlight is your enemy when you collect games. Do not, do not put your collection beside a window to get sun faded. It is just horrible. You invest all this money and time out of hunting for nice pieces, and then you turn around to have it just get faded over time by the sun. So... You know, depending on how serious of a collector you are, depends on what you should do. But I would highly suggest not having any video games on shelves near the sun. So, you know, I black out my window. But I, I want to do a room view. That was one of the things people asked me about doing. Um, I'm kind of holding off on that. First off, it's kind of dirty right now. Second, I like to fill it out a little more. I just recently took out my mini fridge and I put up a little, I guess, a four foot high bookshelf that you can buy at Walmart, you know, for CDs or something for like 29 bucks, 20 bucks. And so I just have like eight um, 64 games on it. You know, I'm just transitioning. I have half the system on one, and then I'm starting the next shelf to fill out with some of these transactions I'm doing. And so I'm hoping that I can do that soon, but it's hard to do a room tour when it's like, look at these full shelves, look at these full shelves, and this empty shelf with six games on it. So I feel kind of weird about doing that. Plus, I have a shelf that I just kind of stuck up there to see if it worked, and it's not painted black, so it kind of sticks out. So there's little things I'd rather do before I go showing it off. And even then, I don't store all my games in that room. I have other people that have borrowed groups of games. I have stuff in other rooms that I'm not going to be showing. So it's only a fraction. Well, it's a good chunk, I should say, in 90%, 95% of what I have. But it's not a true 100% room tour with, you know, video. But... This video is just totally rambling of random crap. Anyway, dog over there is getting kind of antsy, and I'm done pretty well having eight minutes with no yelling, screaming of kids or dogs barking in my video. So I think I'll move on from here, but let me know how uh, you guys want me to run my channel, if there's anything in particular. You know, I know I have to do part two of my Atari, um, like I said, but I kind of want to do, you know, talk about it a little differently. I do understand the controller thing. A couple people said, you know, that spot in the front's for the controllers now. I didn't have the instruction manual, I was just going off what I thought, um, and so, you know, I need to correct a few things at the beginning of it before I show a little bit of gameplay on each, but anyway, thanks for um, watching me. My next video, as a hint, might be something a little different. I think I might have a little girl in it. Someone donated a game to me, and I think I might put her in it She for an N64 game. Um, she won't be able to do much, but it'd just be kind of fun just watching her hit buttons and yell. So, she's two. What can she do? 
But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please sub my channel if you you know if you haven't already. Um, leave comments, please, please leave comments and rate. You know, even if you don't sub me, just leave a comment and rate. You know, that way I know if I'm doing the right thing. If you're interested, if you're not interested, whatever. But thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you uh, on my responses. Bye.